my name is Ipshita Pal. I'm a graphic designer at Arj Media Productions. When I heard that we are coming out with a new music video, I knew I had to work on the album artwork and I was so psyched about it. Mastermind has a lot of elements in the lyrics. I could either focus on what was written or what kind of vibe could be felt from the song. I looked through some references I was given and figured let's go with the vibe. The challenge was not to go the illustrated route because that is my go-to move always. I made some rough drawings testing the layout first before heading to Photoshop. Jijo had sent me a raw image that he wanted as the key focus. So I worked on grading that first. The entire layout kind of depended on that image. I experimented a lot with the colors and the text. I went on a tangent that required me to explore layers on top of each other with different transparency to create the perfect balance between structural design and aesthetics. I wanted the artwork to be very fresh and trippy, but not so much so that the essence of the song was lost. So looking at the references, I decided to stick to an elegant, bright and simple design. The first draft was a mix of a lot of trials with placements and overlays. It always takes a lot of tries to get the design you like since the first idea is never the one you go for. It's always a stepping stone. I did go a little crazy with the text though. I really wanted it to have a lot of character. It took me around 15 tries to select the basic font. Even then, I was not satisfied with just the font because it was not enough. You can generally tell when something is missing. So I decided to modify its structure and add layers of text on it to see how the design changes. Sometimes you need to warp and distort something to get the final result. The second draft dealt with color options. I layered a variety of different colors on each other with different transparency to understand which colors complemented each other and the song better. Parts of the two options were selected. For the third draft, I had to combine the two options. So that called for a lot of permutations and combinations. I felt like a magician. It was great. I saved the best part of the project for last because it was the most fun thing I did. After looking at the first draft of the artwork, Jijo had this really nice idea of turning his image into that of a grand theft auto character. Basically, he wanted that effect in place and I was not particularly sure of what GTA characters look like, so I had to look it up. Basically, I'm not that cool, I guess. I had to follow a tutorial to work out the kinks of the edit and it took me a while to get a grasp of it. But after the edit was done, I was very impressed with his vision and it suited the vibe of the song very well. After colouring in certain details of his jacket purple, modifying the brain of his hat and finishing the text, the final product became something I was very proud of. Due to the quarantine, it's been very difficult to communicate because it's always easier to talk about it face to face. But in this case, it was all virtual. Jijo was actually not aware of what was happening with the design. I was very nervous to show Jijo the first draft, but honestly, the feedback was really positive. It only asked for more stylistic changes and a little bit details here and there, but stylistic experimentation is literally my favorite thing to do. So I had a great time. My technique is not very conventional, I think. I do plan things, but the final idea that is in my head translates to my work after I start working with the software. I then look for images that I can use or I start coloring in boxes that I layer and change. This kind of experimental process gives way to achieving a design that ultimately I am very very happy with. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, please check out our new music video Mastermind. The link is in the description below. Please like this video, share, comment and subscribe to Arj Media Productions. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification if you don't want to miss any update. Thank you.